Hello friends, welcome back to Auto Development Tutorial video. We were discussing about advanced reviews in last few videos. Now, in this video, we are going to discuss about the Kanban view. So, what is a Kanban view and uh, where we can use it? Okay, and uh, in Odoo, where we can see a Kanban view. So, Kanban view can use to organize uh, task production kind of things with uh, uh, different columns like uh, stages and uh, uh, category something like that okay so uh, it's a set of cards okay uh, it can be grouped in columns each card represents uh, different records and uh, it can have aggregated fields sorry uh, each column can have aggregated values like that and the basic element basic element of a kanban view is kanban okay so for example the project tasks can be organized in stages so the kanban view of project task will be uh, columned in stages each column will have represent different stages or we can uh, change that into the task those who are uh, assigned to or responsible to uh, the person and uh, the production uh, in the case of production we can uh, group the records kanban cards or a column uh, we can represent in different columns based on the stages and this we can use in other areas like uh, uh, in the products the product master you can see the kanban view of the products in that case it is not grouped okay and uh, uh, in the apps you can see the records the apps are in, in small cards and there are many uh, areas though we can see the kanban view in odo so it can be used in uh, used as grouped and not grouped. So how can we create a new Kanban view for our records? That's what we are going to discuss. So let's go to our PyCharm. Here, what we are going to do is we are going to create a Kanban view for our sessions and it will be grouped by the course okay so we just created a new field uh, to use in our kanban logic let's call color fields uh, it's an integer field uh, it's not uh, used in the user interface uh, directly it will not be uh, visible so uh, it's used in the kanban view definition logic so that's why uh, this field and this field is added and uh, the Kanban view is defined in our XML file. Uh, just like all other views, it's also an element of ir.ui.view and we provided a unique ID and uh, provided a name open academy session dot Kanban and the model is our open academy session because we are going to uh, create a new view for the session uh, object and under the arc uh, we have the kanban kanban element okay so this is the main element of our kanban view and other things the field the field is that we are using in our uh, Kanban logic, it's color and uh, there you can see the classes that is used to Kanban, different classes are there and uh, the different styling, the architectural definition of that template. So under this we the content 
of that tile or the card comes here OE Kanban Counter and then this deals session name the name of that session and uh, field name start date the start date of that session and the duration here this is a simple Kanban view so we close the template here then the Kanban and uh, now we have the Kanban view is defined and you can create as simple as you want the Kanban view and the common structure the name model that kind of things are common for all the uh, fields and the it can have uh, it have uh, from other views we uh, we have some classes so it's html element different classes it's already defined in odoo so you can reuse them or you can uh, create your own classes and provide that class name here and uh, here uh, this is the basic uh, basic one example so how it will look like that's what we are going to check so uh, we are going we have to rerun our project and go back to our odoo the open academy go to apps we have to upgrade the module so go to open academy sessions You see this tile, uh, it's called Kanban view. Here you can see the courses and the sessions under that courses. So the, it's based on the, the columns are based on the course. So what is that we define? Uh, it is given here, Kanban default group by course ID. So this attribute is used to define on what data we have we want to group these records. So we provide the course ID that's why the view is grouped based on the course ID. So it's a default one so you can change uh, in here okay you can change custom group uh, the instructor okay so now it's based on the instructor so the default group by is provide the default column structure for this uh, reports we have uh, auto provides many more uh, attributes for the kanban view it's called a default order one is called default order uh, so uh, the cards will be sorted based on that field okay and we can have different classes and uh, we can provide examples of how to create uh, uh, new new uh, how to create columns what's uh, uh, how we can create columns so um, it can be uh, done okay so uh, we can provide examples that you can see in the project when we create an add column, uh, there will be an option to see the examples. I can show you and temo.com. And uh, uh, we can restrict creating access, group create and group delete, group edit kind of things. So, uh, it will allow the user to create new columns or the edit or delete new columns okay and delete existing columns or delete uh, edit existing columns or create new columns 
uh, we can restrict this feature by default it will be allowed okay so uh, the this uh, group create attribute is by default set as true so if you uh, if you put the group create is equal to false then uh, it will be restricted okay it's taking time and also uh, archivable cube create record draggable that kind of uh, different attributes are available for the kanban view and uh, in the crm uh, crm you may have seen uh, graph okay the progress bar a small progress bar at the top of the column that also we can provide using attributes so um, we have to give uh, some more details for uh, that progress bar like field colors some field kind of things so uh, there are uh, many options uh, in our example we are just showing one uh, simple three simple data like the session name start date and duration so uh, there are many options are there uh, you can customize your kanban view based on that and uh, see let's see yes you can see this progress bar here for the example uh, the, the, you can see the example attribute under the project section So this is how uh, the Kanban view uh, it will be presented in our system and this is how we can create a new Kanban view and uh, our task is not loaded yet. So, okay, now See examples you see if we click on this you can see different examples on how to create new Kanban call okay so uh, for the software development you have to create the columns like this uh, in different companies it may be different and the jail digital marketing and different purposes how we can create tasks so how we can create uh, the columns okay so these examples we can give and uh, you can refer these uh, kanban view models for more uh, more information about this that's why i'm just showing you where you can find these uh, examples so uh, i hope you enjoyed the video and uh, understood the basics of uh, kanban view uh, thanks for watching Please subscribe to our channel if you haven't subscribed yet and uh, please watch other videos to get more information about uh, the Odoo development. Thank you. If you are interested in knowing more about this or looking for any Odoo implementation or customization in your business, drop your request to info at cybrosis.com.